So today we're installing the Nuvo H2O Manor Trio. This is a water softener and filtration system uh, that instead of using salt, uses citrus. We're doing this trio and then we're doing a Viqua um, Eros, I think is how you say it, which is a UV water system. And we're gonna put this first and this is gonna go second. I'm gonna give you guys the install on all of this stuff. It's really simple, re really easy to install. Go ahead and give you guys step-by-step -step on how to do this and uh, get it done. So this is how the setup's gonna go when I take it and put it up on the wall, is you're going to have the taste filter first, then you're gonna have the specialty filter second, and then you're gonna actually have the water softener portion of it. This is where the citrus comes into play third. So you're gonna have one, two, three. It comes with this bracket. It's not attached, I'll show you how to do that. And then after that, we're gonna tie it into our UV filter. And then that UV filter is obviously gonna go straight into our main water supply into the house. So we're gonna go ahead and take this down, get the bracket up on the wall, set this up, then we're gonna set this up and we're gonna connect all the water to it. So this is the wall that I'm going to be uh, installing the filter system on. And I have the bracket first. You wanna install the bracket without putting on your system because it's just gonna be a lot easier. So I'm gonna throw a level on here and I'm gonna set it here and I'm gonna make sure it's level and then I'm gonna secure it. Now it does come with screws, but because I have two by six backing behind here, um, because I was planning for this system. Um, I'm actually gonna use some of these Spax power lag screws that I already had um, that are washer head and I just like them a little bit better. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and install this level and then um, we'll go ahead and go from there. Now I'm gonna leave this screw loose because it's gonna give me the ability to move it around a little bit. And then pretty good. It's that simple. We have our bracket set. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to grab our system and we're gonna secure our system onto this. I'm going to um, take off the cartridges of the system so I can just install the heads, and I'm gonna install the heads onto this. So here are the heads to this system. Um, there is a right way to put this on. At the top here, you'll see an arrow that says in. So my water inlet is coming from this side. So I'm gonna put this on this side. Here, it says out. So when you set it up, make sure you set it up to where the end the inside is on the side where your water is coming into your home and the out is where the water is going into your, your home. So the water is going to travel this way. This system, you're going to receive this little bag. It's going to have your screws in it. If you're going to use these for your wall screws, it's going to have some washers and then it's going to have the bolts to actually connect this to your bracket. These screws are going to have a washer on them. I'm gonna put the washer on the top side. I'm gonna loosely connect two of them on opposing corners. This is going to hold it in place for me. See, now I can let go of it. This is gonna hold it in place while I can set the rest of the screws and then I can tighten all this down. So as you go through this, just know that these uh, threads are plastic. So just be careful, uh, hand thread them. I'm actually just gonna tighten them all by hand anyway. You can use an impact drill, but just be careful you don't strip any of these threads. Now I'm going to connect my fittings. Now I'm using PVC. You can use um, galvanized if you want to. You can use PEX fittings. Um, I'm going with PVC because I have Schedule 40 coming in and then I actually have Schedule 40 coming out for just a couple feet before it uh, transitions into PEX. Um, but you can use any type of one inch fitting. These are one inch fittings on the inlet on the, and on the outlet. So um, just any one inch fitting that's going to fit into your inlet and any one inch fitting that's going to screw into here and go to your outlet. Now I'm gonna take some Teflon tape, do a couple loops around this uh, before I insert it. Now you don't wanna get this too tight. If you're using pliers, just give it, get, get it snug and then give it one little more twist and you should be good. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to my outlet. 
Again, when screwing these in, just keep in mind, this is a plastic threaded um, system. So just be very careful. Again, hand tighten these things to start with. Then you can tighten it up if, if, with a wrench if you need to. Uh, but you really don't want to strip these threads. Their recommendation is to create a bypass. So unfortunately, my camera angle missed my bypass installation. So I'm going to have to make this after the fact. Um, if you can see here, my filtration system is under my house. So I don't have much room below my filtration system or above it, which is normally where you would put it. So I had to put my bypass um, at an angle so that I could still get the cartridges out. Um, so basically what a bypass is, is so that when you're changing out these filters, which they require you to let the water sit in those filters for about an hour, um, during that process, you'll still be able to have access to water in your home. So a bypass is just an additional valve to where you can shut off um, your filtration system and isolate it and turn on a bypass to continue to have water in your home. So that's what I just did there as I turned on my bypass. I turn on my second valve, which carries it into the home. Um, and now I've isolated my filtration system. I can drain those, unscrew them and swap them out. Now, when I'm done with that, I go ahead and shut my bypass off, turn the filtration system back on with water and I'm good to go. It's a pretty simple thing. It's basically uh, just a way for you to have access to water um, while you're isolating your filtration system. So I like to get everything dry fit first before I glue everything together. So I dry fit this. Um, it's not connected at the bottom. I'm gonna dry fit this into our next filter. And then um, once everything's set, I'll go back, glue everything together, and we'll be good to go. So I'm gonna mark this bracket to where I know that my lines line up fairly close here. So it's about right there. Back it on there, I'm just gonna set this in. We're pretty good lined up. So all I did was put some, some Teflon tape on here and I'm just gonna screw this on. And then I'm doing the same, same thing on the other side. So when you guys set this up, if you're doing PVC uh, Schedule 40 pipe, um, make sure you dry fit it. And then I also recommend putting a shutoff valve between your Manor Trio system and your Viqua uh, UV filter. This gives you the ability to isolate both of them independently. Um, and another tip just for installation is when you are gluing these together, you want to hold pressure onto your fitting after you glue it. Uh, this is so that your fittings don't start to squeeze out because they will actually push themselves out. So I would say hold your fittings tight together for about 30 seconds. Um, and then you can let go and move on to the next. This one. is a very simple thing. You're gonna, it's going to come with your, your bulb, which is this system right here. It'll come in a separate box in the same packaging. Um, and it's very simple. This thing up here swivels back and forth. All you're going to do is this hole right up here in the top. You're going to carefully slide your bulb in there. You see this arrow? This arrow is going to be able to twist towards this way. You're going to, it's going to kind of lock itself down and you won't be able to turn it anymore. And that's all you need. So then this is going to spin back over the top and you can see this little, this tab here. It's going to go right in the center of that hole. You're going to press it down and you're good to go. It's that simple. And you'll see that that turned blue. There's no beeping. It's going to update its firmware. If the system beeps at you, it might mean that this isn't properly sitting down on top of your, your uh, bulb. Um, so just follow the prompts to set up your Viqua Arrows. It's very simple, very self-explanatory. And once you get uh, a clear screen, you know that you're good to go. So we're going to go ahead and install these filters. Remember the taste filter goes first. Um, the specialty filter goes second, and then your citrus cartridge goes on the last one. Um, they send you with a little bit of lubricant, and you're going to want to put that around the top edge here on your gasket. So we're just going to go ahead and break this off. And I'm going to put a little bit right here, a little bit right here, right here, right here. Then I'm just going to kind of rub that around on there. And then all we got to do is then twist this in. Then 
Then we're going to use this wrench that comes with your system. Just tighten that up a little bit. The next one is the specialty filter. We're going to do the same thing with this one. We're going to put a little bit of lube on it. So with these first two filters, you can put them in. It doesn't matter what side goes which um, upside down. There is no upside down. So these cartridges can go in either way. You don't have to worry about it. Just make sure they sit down. There's a little uh, uh, protrusion at the bottom. Make sure they sit down on that. We're going to put a little bit of lube on this one too. Tighten this one up. All right. And then the last cartridge is the citrus cartridge cartridge. And again, you still got to take the plastic off this one. This one does have a right side up. There's these holes in the top. Make sure you set it in there with these three holes in this bottom hole on the top portion of your filter. Uh, just like with the other two, you want to make sure you put your lube on. Tighten that one up. And ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much the extent of it. All right, so now that I have all of this set up, what I'm going to do is there's some screws here on the top. Uh, these are um, air release screws. I'm going to just release those a little bit. Just so a little bit of air can come through so we can fill these up. I'm going to turn this valve on. I'm going to keep this one off. I'm going to fill these up with water, let it sit for an hour. And then I'll turn this valve on, turn this valve on, and we'll have water to the house. Pretty simple. I'm not going to turn the full pressure on right now because I want to make sure there's no leaks. So I don't want to just blast it. Just letting all that water out of these systems. There we go. We got some water coming out. I'm going to tighten that down. This one over here. So that air. All right, we got a little water coming out of there. I'm going to tighten that down. You can see now you don't hear any air. There's no water leaking. All right, guys, so this is the Nuvo H2O Manor Trio. I'll put a thing up here so you guys can see. Um, and now that we have the water filled up in these, um, we're going to let it sit for an hour before we turn this valve on right here. And then um, after an hour, we'll turn this valve on and we'll send everything through here. Um, and we'll be good to go and we'll have clean water. I hope this was helpful, guys. I appreciate you, and I'll see you on the next one.